Hey everyone and welcome back to Chamel Does Art. I'm Chamel and today we're diving into the Halloween spirit with a spine chilling tutorial. We're going to learn how to haunt your screen with a spooky jack-o'-lantern using Procreate. So grab your stylus and let's get started. So first, let's take a look at what we'll be creating today. This eerie jack-o'-lantern will add the perfect touch of fright to your digital art collection, but don't worry. I'll guide you through every step of the process. So if you don't know how to load in the reference photo and prepare the canvas for my tutorials, I have created a separate video which you can go watch that first. There should be a link at the very top of this video so you can click on that. So without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So I have provided everything that you will need. You have two sketches, one with grid lines, one without grid lines. I have provided you with a color palette called Jack-O-Lantern, and I've also provided you with a brush pack called Jack-O-Lantern that contains four brushes that you can use however you like. I am going to start off with the Chamel Inker Streamliner, and we're just gonna go right into the sketch. So I'm gonna start right here. So our canvas today is 3000 by 3000 pixels and our grid lines on our reference photo is set at 307 pixels. So you can match your canvas here with your sketch here. Okay, so let me see, what shall we do first? I think I'm gonna do the left side of this pumpkin first. So I am just going to start about Oops, that brush is way too big. So I'm gonna br bring the brush down to about 6%, I think. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's try 8%. Yeah, I think that's better. So I'm just gonna create this right side of this pumpkin and you can use the grid lines here to kind of give you a reference where to put the lines in. So you can get the proportions right. Okay, we're gonna do, let's do this stem next. So I think it's gonna start about here and go up to about there. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, that's good. And then I'm going to let's see where do I want this thing to end up at. I think about right here. Okay, I think that looks good. Okay, let's do this back piece of the pumpkin. You wanna make sure that you close all of your lines. It's gonna be very important, especially when you go into coloring. Okay, I'm gonna do this back piece here, maybe like that, and then we'll continue this piece right there. All right, we're gonna do another one coming out here. It's gonna be the right side of the pumpkin. I'm gonna come down to about right here. So I'm just gonna kind of wiggle it around and Just about like that. Again, I'm not I'm not matching my sketch perfectly, which is okay. So it's still gonna look good at the end, I guarantee it. All right, so let's do this part of the stem here. Let's go up like that, and we'll do one on this side. I think I want this stem to come down a little bit more. Oops, that didn't match up very well. Here we go. All right, and then we're gonna kind of simulate the bottom of it without actually connecting those. So we just got a curve shape here and then maybe we can have some little wrinkles like that and some wrinkles over here. We're gonna be putting in a lot of wrinkles here and it doesn't really matter where they go as long as you put some in there. Okay, let's do this eyebrow shape here. So we're going to maybe like that. 
and then you can see I broke it up here. So sometimes when you do that, it makes it more interesting versus having just a one line continue all the way around. So you see I broke that line up right there. That's just kind of a little artist tip that might make your drawings look a little bit more interesting. I'm going to do this loop here, up here. About like that. Okay. And then we got a piece coming out over there. Very lumpy, bumpy pumpkin here. Okay. Uh, let's do this one. And I'm going to try to get this other eye shape in here. So I'm going to go around and come up to about right here. So about like that. And then, so I've got, I don't have them touching here, but I got them touching here, which again, it still looks good. You don't have to worry about it too much. I'm going to go up there. Okay, and maybe continue it around there. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, let's get these eyes in. So we're going to come down to about here, come up about right there. I'm going to hold my pin down and make a really good curve and make sure that those are connected where and let's do a line right there do one under the eye here that one there okay let's get this other eye in over here on the other side so I want it to connect here and maybe about there again I'm gonna hold my pin down and make that a good curve and then also when you hold your pin down and do that, it kind of thins out the edges and sometimes it moves a little bit. So you want to make sure that they are connecting the lines. Again, that's a really big thing you got to make sure that you do is closing all your lines. Because if you don't, when you drop your colors in, it's not going to work right. Okay, how about, uh, so it looks like this eye, I've got it like the coming in kind of overhanging like that and then we got another line here and then let's just put some detail lines here kind of give it that round roundness I think that's good and maybe these wrinkles over here. Yep, I think that's good. Okay, so I guess some of these wrinkles up here we can start putting in. All right, and then on the stem too. All right, that's good. Put some here. All right, I think that's good. Maybe a couple up here. And put one there. Maybe around the eye. I think that's good. All right, let's, uh, I'm gonna try to put this nose in now. So it's just kind of a triangle, a wiggly triangle. And then we'll put some detail lines around it. Maybe one up there, maybe one there, and then one under the eye here. All right, 
and let's what's next here? I think I got a line. Okay, I'm gonna put this mouth in next because that's gonna kind of leave us a reference line. So I've got like a little. shape like that for the edges and then I'm just gonna make the mouth shape right now we're gonna have some teeth that's gonna be coming over it but just to get the shape of it in right now it's gonna be coming up all the way up there okay so I'm just gonna connect this line and that line and just kind of make a curve I'm gonna hold my pen down so it'll make a good curve and then make sure those are connected up there. Uh, probably don't need to come over the mouth here, so I'm gonna erase that. With my eraser tool, and you can see here that one is not connected, so I'm gonna make sure that's connected. All right, and then let's do the bottom of the mouth. So the bottom is gonna come down, it's gonna go back up here in the middle and then it's gonna connect over there. So, this, up, down, and then back up. Okay, uh, let's finish off the bottom of the pumpkin here. We're going to do a loop right there. We're gonna do another one right there one here I think we're gonna have that little vine part right there coming out right here so I'm gonna leave that open right there uh, we got the vine on this side too so let's go ahead and put that in so I'm gonna come around like this Maybe like that. And then we can erase these parts here in the middle. Not supposed to be overlapping. And this one here. Alright, that's good. And let's probably put this other one in now. So I got it coming about here. Maybe like that, and then we'll erase this one. Okay, uh, teeth part. Put the teeth in. So we got one coming down right here. Another one here, and you see they're not connected to anything. And the reason is, I'm going to drop some black in the middle here. This one is going to go over the mouth. So we're going to have to erase that part. Alright. And then we got one. Right there. Let's see. We got another one here. One from the bottom. One coming down. And then we got a big one. Right there. And then in this one we're going to erase the overlap. Okay, and then we have... Oops, didn't put my pen back on. This one looked like it got broke off. We got one right there. All right, uh, let's see, detail lines. So again, just putting in these wrinkle lines. Make that a little bit bigger here so I can see better. And some on the vine. So again, we're gonna curve those to make that 
vine kind of a curved shape. Make sure those are connected there. Okay, maybe here, and we'll do some up here. Okay, good enough. Uh, I'm gonna put one here. What else? Do some on this vine. That's good. Some on the pumpkin here on the bottom. some here all right I think that is gonna do it for our sketch I think he's scary enough so next let's get started on the coloring process so I'm going to turn off my reference photo and I think I'm gonna turn off my drawing guide too that way we won't have those lines going across Okay, so what you should do next is go to your layers menu here, and you should have your sketch in your background. That's it. We're going to start a new layer. We're going to drag it under your line work. This is where colors are going to go, and you're going to tap on that top layer a couple times, get this menu here, and we'll set it to reference. And then what that's going to do is when we drop our colors in on layer two, it's going to use the lines above it as to where to put those colors. So let's do, let me see, the. I've given you a light color, a uh, middle color, and then a darker color. The main colors are gonna be in the middle here, highlights are gonna be on top, and the shadows are gonna be on the bottom there. So let's take this middle color here for the orange, and we're going to drop that in on the main pumpkin part so any of these spaces, not including the, vi the uh, vine on top now, that's gonna be a different color. Okay, and the bottom of the mouth here, that part, that part, and I think that's it. That's all of the orange part. Okay, so next let's choose our middle green color here. We'll drop those in. Okay, looks good. Uh, let's choose our yellow color next, the middle one. That's gonna be our eyes. I see a little orange part here we missed in that too. So I'm just gonna do that with a brush. And maybe the orange color here. All right, that's good. Now let's choose our black and we're gonna fill in the mouth and the nose. Okay, and there's all of our color flats. Very easy, quick. Let's do our shadows next. So our shadows are gonna be the darker colors. So let's do the vine first. So we're gonna do the darkest green down here on the bottom. Oops, didn't mean to do that, but anyway, it's okay. And I'm going to start a new layer on top and I'm gonna set it to clipping mask, which is going to only paint on the things where we have color already. All right, so let's do the vine. So the bottom portion of the vine is gonna be dark. So we're just gonna do a line here on the bottom. Just about like that. And I got some on the black there, which I didn't want. So, We can just erase it. Here we go. All right, and let's do this other. Make sure I'm on the right layer. Yep, we're gonna do this one too, and the bottom of it. Is gonna be dark. Just about like that. Okay, and the top portion here. We're gonna do the under part of this one. We're gonna do the base right here. 
I'm just kind of following along that shape, same shape. So about like that. Uh, maybe just a couple of circles here. I think that's good enough. Okay, let's move on to the eyes. Let's take this darker, darkish yellow here. And we're going to do, just like we did on those, we're going to do the underside. So about like that on that one. And then let's kind of fix this where it comes to a point. And then we'll do the same thing over here. Looks good. So that's going to be that part. Okay, and then let's do the pumpkin dark part. So the darkest orange here. And we're going to do the bottom of the pumpkin here. Uh, probably this curve here. All right, and then maybe this. And then this one here. So just along the bottom portion of the pumpkin. Maybe here. I'm just gonna follow along those curves of the shape that's already there. And then this one here. Okay, that's good. Uh, maybe here. Oops, I got some on the green over there. I'll have to fix that. All right, I'm going to go in and erase that. Okay, back to our pen tool. Let's see, under the eyes is probably be a shadow. We'll do that, and we'll do one over here. Okay, uh, probably here in the middle, under these two little eyebrow-like things. That'll probably be dark. Maybe right here, in this little crevice right here. All right, uh, let's see, where else can we put some? Maybe on the outside of the eyes here. I think that's good. All right, maybe let's do a couple of age spots over here. Maybe some down here. All right, and I think that's about it. Yep, I think that's enough. We don't want to go overboard with it. All right, so next thing we're going to do is our highlights. So let's do the green one first. So we'll do the lightest color of the green. And so the, the shadows were on the bottom, so the highlights are going to be on the opposite side, which is going to be the top. We'll do one there. that's good and on the bottom here we'll just do a little bit on the top just like that it's fine so you see it makes it look really really good and when you have this three layers of shading 
it makes it really pop out. Okay, for the eyes, we're gonna do the white color here for the highlights. And we're gonna do a big circle here. And we're gonna do a little circle under it. Just about like that. And on the other eye, I'm not gonna have one at all. Okay, so let's do the light color of the pumpkin now, which is the lightest orange there. All right, and then the tops of these things where you think there'll be uh, some light hitting it. You know what I'm gonna do to make this a little bit easier? I'm gonna turn off my reference layer here since we've already got the uh, main colors and we don't need those anymore. And now if I make a closed shape, I can go ahead and drag and drop to fill that in. Makes things a little quicker. If you have the reference foot on, it won't. It'll fill the whole thing in. You don't want that. All right, let's do one here. Fill that in. Uh, what else can we do? Maybe along the tops of the eyebrow here. That's fine. And then maybe over here. That's good. Where else would there be some light? Maybe this one. Maybe here. I'm gonna make one a little bit bigger here. And then over here too, I'll make this one a little bit bigger. I think that's done it guys I think it looks pretty good if you want you can put a little more detail marks on it just for the heck of it doesn't look make it look a little bit more interesting all right so let's go ahead and change our background color to black oh you know what we forgot the color in the teeth Oh no, and you could tell the teeth were colored in by the white background only. So let's go ahead and turn off that background color. Let's choose our white color here. And uh, you know what, we're gonna have to go ahead and put the reference back on if we wanna drag and drop. Go to my color flat layer here and drag and drop those teeth in. Totally forgot that, oops. Color feel, continue feeling, just tap, tap, tap. There we go. Now we are cooking. We'll turn our background back on, our teeth are back in now. All right, and then let's do one more thing to make it look a little interesting. Let's duplicate our color layer. And then the one that's under, I'm gonna turn off the top one. The one that's under here, we're gonna set it to alpha lock and we're gonna pick a, maybe our bright yellow part here. And I'm gonna crank up my paintbrush here to the max and we're just gonna, oops. Oh, I didn't set it to alpha lock. Let me undo. Set this to alpha lock. And we're gonna paint this guy all yellow. Okay, I think that's good enough. And then we're gonna take off the alpha lock. We're gonna turn on our top layer Make sure you're on the layer two, which is the yellow one that's under it. We're gonna go up here to Gaussian Blur. And we're gonna set that up pretty high, about 40%. We're gonna make him glow. And there we are, guys, we're done. That is our Halloween pumpkin tutorial. There you have it. 
screen haunting spooky jack-o'-lantern in procreate i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something new if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss a chilling tutorial like this one thanks for joining me today and i will see you next week with another procreate tutorial take care guys